Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. It is time for us to not only lower the um, sound a little bit but also explore that space hulk that we have been uh, finding. We finally went through uh, the first warp system and found this huge space hull. And of course, we need to explore what's in here. And how do I get up there, more importantly? Alright, can't reach that. And as per the usual, this is it it starts being funny at some point because my formation never stays I properly unexplored all right a formidable looking door blocks the way to the next module it is covered in scratches as if someone clawed cold metal a very very long time the door does not respond to your touch it stands fast Refusing to open, excuse me, for my tiredness. The writing above the doorway reads Main Computing Cathedral. Oh, okay. Shield us, O oh machine god, from the evil that has taken hold of your temple. Save us, preserve us from the corruption, and show us the way. The sacred metal that bars our way is weakened. Let us appeal to the machine spirit. All right, Pascal means the Omnisai knows all, comprehends all, I'm merely his servant. I cannot discern what sickens the abode um, of the machine god, but I do sense a distortion in the structure. The ship is sick. Good, that's not good. Further conversing is unproductive. The will of the Omnisai has brought us to this door. Thus our task is clear. Search for a way to proceed. All right. The door and the entire adjacent section in the bay have no power. There must be a backup. Good. At least this door does have power. Stomach terminating bloody smears on the wall form a malevolent symbol. This could be heresy. See what I found. Duty prevails. The world trembles beneath my feet. But that also explains how we are supposed to reach this here. Besides, just double checking. Yep, I figured it. We're running out of consumables. Um. Could use a few more grenades. I definitely need to pick up that grenade talent. It's super helpful. In the meantime, more medkits. Hmm. Instantly increases movement points, two charges of the slash ability, yet reduces weapon skill until the next turn. That is something for melee characters. So I have to wonder... Uh, couldn't we just use that on our tank? Thank you. Trying to use a few more consumables. The dull sound produced by the ventilation system creates the illusion that the ship is breathing. The world will bow. Mad tech priest.
This is very bad. The Omnisaya Grace has forsaken the place in these brethren. Okay, this might indeed be pretty bad. The priest whose body is carved into metal and flesh is whispering words of a prayer. Intriguing. I am not afraid to embrace the revelations that make others shriek and cover. That is the difference between me and ignorant filth. Okay, not sure if this is going to be good that. or bad. But this is super suspicious. Listen on a sus rating. This gets a very solid eight out of ten. Suspicion. Join me in prayer. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Dark reddish blushes form from the words, O oh, Omnisaya, the hour is upon us. Your imagination is playing tricks on you, making it seem like uh, there are twisted screams. And I can see little tentacles coming out of the wall and if I've learned anything playing D&D is tentacles typically mean aberrations and aberrations are never and there is no exception never ever there ever is a good in my soul one step general closer. rule of thumb if it does have tentacles it's not your friend the world trembles beneath my feet Of course. The priest is busy attempting to sew together the innards and sticking out of his abdominal wound. All right, Pasco, I need you here. This explorator is blessed with multifunctionality. These modules is producing power of the massive ship. Can we Sometimes simply though, disable we that somehow? And save the day. Hmm. Calculating optimal route. There are noticeable signs of warp activity here. The bloody spectacles you witnessed may have been uh, an illusion or a vision of the past or the future. Powers unseen uncover my path. 
scraps of skin and broken nails and teeth are stuck into the ragged grooves. Okay. All of this Embrace is her power. heresy. Accuser of flesh, you betrayed me. I'm drowning in the mire of flesh. Insinio. But the spirit longs for the perfection of the machine. Hey comrade, you're in need of a ritual protocol of repair. We will mend you. Ladina Tech Priest the That is new. The more you try to hide your colours from me, Master Van Kalox the more clearly I can see them. If you find my gaze so unpleasant, just say so. Do not mistake my caution for rudeness, Lady Cassia. I am usually the person who gauges others' secret thoughts and feelings. Being on the receiving end is different. Operation successful. Nice. Uh, Grand Severa, 10 weapon skill and 5 strength. That's excellent gloves. Um, uh, that's excellent gloves. Uh, we're going to take them. Lovely. More weapon skill. Who deals AoE damage? I think you do. And we're taking those here. Every time the wearer deals damage, uh, target's weapon and ballistic skill is reduced. It seems legit. I like it. And... Hmm... That one is good. You look dope, Henrix. And by the way, down here, that looks very much like a cultist summoning. The metal feels a little warm and somewhat moist. Eskel is highly injured. Five, seven, ten. Oh, I see. Okay, a little riddle. One, five, and then. Do you seek? Five, nine, ten. Ready for dating us. Oh, my ears are ringing. Your efforts so mutually worthy of my attention. We are the spearhead of the Imperium. Fantastic. The world trembles beneath nice. my Nice, we get a little feet. level up, so let's use that. All right, with Abelard it's easy. We're just continuing to build uh, defensive. Um, whilst the Vanguard has at least one temporary wound, uh, they gain um, a lot of bonus to parry and armor. That sounds like a fantastic investment. Because armor and parry were very good. 
In the meantime, Heinrichs. Alright, I am torn between Sacred Rituals, which is basically more AP, or doing my part, which to a degree is also more AP because we only have one assassin, and therefore um, Heinrich's first assassin ability will be free. I think I'll do doing my part. There's another assassin ability which isn't bad. Um, called Professional Acumen. Every turn, the first use of an Assassin ability costs zero AP, which is sort of the same as doing my part. But doing my part does not only uh, apply to Assassin, but to all of the archetypes. So, say if Heinrichs, for whatever reason, would be the only warrior, uh, which he isn't. Um, hmm. Hmm. By thinking about it, we might as well just use professional acumen. Yeah, that's okay. And in that case, we can always freely use seek the opportunity. And next time, we're just updating um, our ability points a little bit more. Because I noticed that you need to optimize the ability points. Just too many uh, options that you do have. And you can't do it all in a turn. Alright, I read uh, through all of the zones of the Grand Strategist and it's really good. Um, I mean, it, it's really, really good. Uh, there are a couple of um, super good zones. I like the Fire at Will, for instance, which allows us to shoot for one AP less. That's not bad because it solves a lot of our AP uh, issues as well. And maybe I'll actually do that because uh, the um, lower AP shots will increase our damage potential substantially. The other one is Overcoming Zone, which is a follow-up on that Stronghold Stratagem, um, where whenever you take an injury, you instead get Int Bonus, which for him normally, uh, before he has the Head Trauma, would be around like 60, 70, so that's 6, plus uh, Fellowship, that's another 2, so we're looking at 8. Uh, temporary wounds instead and just being healed for eight instead of taking uh, an injury that seems very good as well but we're going with fire at will because that uh, will improve our um, our quality substantially our damage quality um, as for the sister of battle all right i think that with argenta i'll lean fully into that versatility thing I will go with always ready because that means we're starting with two stacks and that means after the first rotation we're already at three stacks and that means wildfire is down to two AP next round we get more uh, next one I would potentially take flash fire which uh, reduces the cost of wildfire by one AP for three stacks starting with two first hit already reduces it to two meaning we could do something like um, snipe one AP uh, into wildfire two additional AP snipe again um, and then extra fire um, yeah unfortunately we can't burst fire that uh, still would need to work a little bit on it but point being uh, with that we would gain our stacks quite fast and soon wildfire would would essentially be a free attack all right all right so there are a couple of cool talents with the master technician i think i got enough navigator base talents uh, the ones that are now left over are still fine but they are not mm, really that important getting an extra action point or extra perception with app and flow seems fine um, yeah and a couple of debuffs but nothing like major major um, however good point being maybe some of them are okay the however now is I think I want to also find out what the actual master technician does and not just what the navigator does so we're going to use the tactical advantage feature a bit more we get one stack of tactical advantage for for every five momentum gained so one of the things that we want to do is creating as much momentum as possible and a lot of the abilities uh, that um, that 
come with a master technician uh, technician is to actually improve that uh, so nerves of steel being one of that where uh, whenever the master technician would would uh, or any of their allies would get uh, gain momentum they gain one more so that's just a flat bonus to everybody which is great another one that i liked is whenever an ally gives the master technician a stack of tactical advantage which happens i relatively often every round they heal a wound for every stack granted and that isn't so far cool as it is just continuous healing for everyone uh, another one that I liked was um, just cost effective seems to be super good. Uh, grenades and medkits cost minus uh, one action point to use. So if uh, we uh, give her both of that, she could actually be a really decent grenadier. Um, of course, I would need to think about how to make that work. Um, and then uh, the hero's footsteps, actually, if we could make it work. I could take that. And give her the gloves that um, also reduce grenades by one which all of a sudden makes grenades completely free for her hmm. that's good but that's also not bad having free grenades from her that seems like a really good option anyways um, then um, basically the master te uh, technician also tactician uh, also works around these heroic acts there are a lot of great abilities so the best one that i've seen is immediately gains extra turns um, after another person did a heroic act so that's just three actions etc 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 and then um, ap reduction whenever you, uh, whenever the morale is above 125 so that's not bad I think there are a couple of others that will just get more morale and hmm, now I'm torn because I think that the grenade one I really wanted to create one grenade character and Cassia could be that but I also want more momentum because I think that that is a really really good ability so we're starting with momentum maybe the grenade thing uh, will happen a little bit uh, later all right difficult decision as always but I think I'll go with um, psychic power damage that deals uh, so backdraft that deals damage to the nearest target there is another option that i could think about uh, focal point looked very good we do have taunting and taunted targets make for excellent extra damage 15 percent is nothing to scoff at then of course armor reduction deflection and so on that isn't bad as well um, i also like this one accustomed to glory whenever um, any ally does a heroic act um, you gain uh, ten percent damage until the end of uh, the turn. So uh, until the end of the combat, actually. Um, hmm. That is not bad. That's a full stacking damage buff, and with us running through a lot of heroic, um, heroical deeds, that might not be bad. Hmm. Well, and then of course, more versatility of uh, of course would wouldn't be bad. And I was thinking about uh, stacking crit, but I don't know. I also like the whole idea of pain channeling, um, so that we're really really hitting hard uh, when our psi ranking would be a little bit higher. That would be good. Hmm. Yeah, it's difficult to say and of course sacred rituals would also be good just to have a chance um, of uh, getting a p back and then there is another one which i found interesting did i even put it here yeah warp mines um, if we're using six psychic powers uh, then enemies gain a stacking every sixth psychic power uh, leads to minus five penalty to all characteristics of all enemies across the board 
That might not look like much, but I think it could stack up in longer combats. Um, I'm still trying to uh, to get that nuker uh, concept going with uh, with Saiken, and the biggest problems with him at the moment, which is why I'm spending so much time lamenting about him, is that he does not build up versatility fast enough. But then again, versatility only really what it only really does is it increases the ballistic skill. Um, and when you have four or more stacks, um, you deal extra damage. Okay. So, his idea is to get to four or more stacks to get that damage uh, buff, and then essentially start blasting. And in terms of damage buff, I mean, we could use always ready, uh, then we already start with two versatility using two abilities, and then we're um, basically already at the four stacks, which is, isn't is too bad. Um, and then we can stack a couple of, uh, a couple of items, or a, a couple of damage buffs on him. And I'm thinking about using, for instance, focal point for priority targets, um, and then accustomed to glory, if you add that together, then it's 10% here, 20% there, yada, yada, yada. So um, it's actually not too bad. Let's start with always ready and use a little bit of uh, the arc militant uh, types because I think I have the important psi uh, factors, maybe subtle uh, manipulation to cast in melee, but that really doesn't happen that often. Um, I only had the pleasure of being in melee with him once. So yeah, so backdraft is another one that i think is good but it's it's not urgent to take it so might as well take the always ready and a couple of uh, the uh, damage buffs here that should give us a good uh, a good start okay that was a long 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 i'm restless i bet myself through my service level up process Intriguing. <coughs> okay, that was a long leveling up process. Over there. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Oh come on. Highly trapped room, are you kidding me? I failed. Carry the Emperor's will as your torch. We have seven wounds. Um, yeah, before I turn back on that uh, reactor, which I'm sure will absolutely not um, be a problem for us in any meaningful way, uh, let's just get back on our ship real quick. I have a little feeling. That tells me the moment that we're putting on the generator, things are going very, very much south. All right. Let's see. Yeah, in there, it very much looks like a super heretical chamber, so can only assume that the tech priests are corrupted to the core. This is so deeply corrupted. Powers unseen. And all of a sudden, no uh, priest is to be seen here. Uh, first enemies are inside. 
I don't like it. My ascension has only just begun. I don't like it. Hmm. Hmm. Two hundred hit points. Oh, my God. And he has a big fat marksman rifle. Mm. All right. Well, listen. What advice do you seek? Have a large. What ails you? Goes there. Not even sure if we should approach this guy in melee. I serve the golden throne. You are authorized. Hmm. Difficult fighting position. I don't like that high ground over here. There are plenty servitors. 170 hit points. Am I in an area where everybody here seems to be like super high level? Okay. Hmm. You are in the presence of House Orcelia. I'm watching your back. Always. The Emperor sets my path. Well, I think. Having our agenda here might not be the worst decision. Data meditation is terminated. Ready for data input. Join me in prayer. We have her down here. We can shoot at these guys. Hmm. Also not a bad choice. I assume that these reactors look are no full cover. I fear to look at me. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Remember, innocence proves nothing. There is a fervor in my soul. I guide humanity. The Fate beckons me. Color the uncolored. All right, that's the best I can do. Pascal since here. And I think we can put a back line here and then a front line somewhere. Your Good, Abelard. Always there for you. Moves a bit here. Terminated. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. And will triumph. Blood and we're starting by attacking Mad Logus. Plenty of enemies, wonderful. What do these guys have? Also sniper rifles. All right, Abelard has a tough time here. Let's try. Backline gets this. Um, We're putting rear down here. Let's focus on that right side. Good, that works out well. Nah, I can't hit them well enough. Can I... No, I cannot. I 
That's barely a hit. I don't like it. Servitor gets spotted out, and we could try to hit him 6%. That's ridiculous. This could remove cover. Yep, that was a nice hit. Ooh, Herald of Cor Okay. That's a pure machine. Nice. 50 points of damage against that. Fantastic. What did the Herald of Corruption just do? Wait, 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 wait. What can they do? Mm, code of Tainted Blessing. All corrupted machine creatures gain super hard uh, healing for everyone this machine is immune to prone but takes a lot of shock damage which is fine Can we hit this guy? Hmm. I'm still trying to build up stacks here. Could move over. Could move to the front, which would be very, very aggressive. Or we'll move into here, but in the zone we're actually having a huge advantage. There's no enemy here, and we're having a lot of a lot of defense here. Which also makes our uh, attacks cheaper, which in return allows us to do this and this, and then we're shooting for one. Good hit. Switch. Can't hit the Herald of Corruption, but we can hit that Servitor. Good, we're at four versatility stacks, which will now reduce Wildfire. At your beck and call. Good, we need to be careful with any form of enemy uh, mm, enemy ranged attack moves up you are my new my sworn enemy it will be done. and I've seen worse battles than this in my time. At your back and call. Both of you attack me. <laughs> and there's a nice little hit. Servitor took good damage. But so did Abelard. That and that. This here is for free, so might as well do it. Abelard, my boy, you need stronger hit chances and 
I'm wondering, can I drive the corruption out of any of you guys? Nah, it's already too... Too much uh, veil. Hmm. Healing would be cool, but we're not doing that. I think we're for now are just defensively moving. And next turn. Next turn we're giving it a go. We're buffed. Oh boy, there's another Herald of Corruption. Okay, never effing mind. Good, let's get this one. Good hit. Um, new action. We are... Yeah, we're hitting it. Almost uh, piercing the veil. It's not good to use a lot of Psy powers here. Okay, we're also up uh, to versatility, which means now we're dealing more damage. Fantastic, Cycle's doing a good job. Alright, Cassia. Um, what are we going to do? We need to deal with that Herald of Corruption. That is a problem. And we also need to mend reality to a degree. Right. So I can get the buff. Can we... Sort of hit multiples. That's a three for one. Ah, are we doing that? Abelard will not be happy with us. Alternatively, we can just let Argenta clear up the rings. All right, let's try that. Taking individual sniper shots. As the Emperor commands, I act. One I'll do it. wildfire. Faith and another one. Decent damage, but we really need to get to that Herald, so Heinrich needs to move. Okay, um, Request denied. Hmm, just out of range. Can we move any further? We don't have a sprint. Does this here give us? Yeah, that could help us. Okay, well, 
before we do anything. Opening this guy. This here would hit the Herald and would hit it well. Good. Now this thing is gone. We're scouting out a couple more of you guys and hmm. Hmm. Pascal won't be of much help. Uh, let's hope he survives that turn. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do All right, it. let's go. Great hits. As the Emperor commands, free reload. That is not the Emperor's will. Yeah, almost. We're at six versatility. That is crazy. Let's see to it. Low momentum. That is crazy. Okay, well, I won't object. To open that servitor. Put my psychic abilities to use. Let's see to it. And we're just going to tank here. I'll see Might as well take no limit literate. on attacks and try to get this guy down. Naturally. One, two. Let's see to it. Three. Do that. For the throne, be gone. And four, which is good. Heinrichs has done well. And we can move the over Emperor here so that we're not being sniped. This is beneath me. That would be an option. No, I think this here would be a really decent option. Forty points of damage is good. Cassia was to move here. 
That'll be a good hit for all three. But it would be equally dangerous. The question is, should we just shift actions over to Saiken? To get that mad logic wizard down. Heinrich gets another buff. If I may. Saiken gets the turn. I will try. Continues to sh uh, scream. 30 points of damage are fine. Uh, they're good for someone who is using full cover. Hit a single one. What we could do is. Nah, no, we. I mean, we could position ourselves here. Or here. That opens a fla wide flank for that mad technomancer. Uh, here would be equally dangerous. That's as good as it gets for now. I wonder, would that lead to plasma weapon malfunctions? Where do I see if my plasma weapon is currently malfunctioning? Do I have a debuff on, on that? No. Hmm. I don't want to risk it. We'll just do this, and this, and help the guys here with a strength stratagem. him no that's a problem I cannot get to Mad Logus and 38 percent is really not great no 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 Alright, slowly but surely, we're, we need to focus on single individuals. That. Plus. That. As the Emperor commands, plus. That. I'll do it. I was chosen. Okay, we're having a very high uh, bonus, our ballistic skill, thanks to our high versatility, is now going through the roof. With that, we're critting more often, as you can see, and we're dealing quite a bit of damage, actually, so this might not be as grim as it looks. We just need to keep the position here.
Uh, that servitor is a problem. Again, so we're starting with that. But of course, Lord Captain. We're doing that. Opening the servitor. Uh, we're. And we're giving all three a nice little taste of their own medicine. Nothing stands against me. Look at that. That was a lot of damage. Heinrich, you're an absolute beast. Love it. Good job. What Shit, are you strung and gone right away? not good that on the other hand would be good mm. again trading in that much damage I'm not sure Well, that frees up Argenta, so that wasn't bad. Triumph. We're going to get uh, Run Gun back next turn. I'm not accustomed to being Heinrich continues around. to get really good buffs. Pascal as well, and then Argenta gets that extra turn. Faith without deeds, it was you, my emperor. One hit. As the emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. A couple this additional the hits. Yeah, not bad. Not. not bad. Um, she said 11 versatility. Pascal, I think, is just going to tank here. Can't shoot because we're in melee. Got you. Um, well, what we can do is we can still use our ring. You guys take more damage. Servitor. Fifty points of damage, I love that. Oh, that's good. That's fantastic damage. Unfortunately the enemy also has fantastic damage. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good hit. Faith without deeds is worthless. Um, give me that extra hit, come on. Ouch. From the ashes I will rise. Don't bring down our sister. We need her.
Hmm, the screams could be an option. Hmm. That's one down. Going straight into another one. Almost got him. Healing Agenda and Pascal it takes that extra turn. 100% kill. And luckily we can fight in melee with him as well. There you go, Servitor now takes more damage. And it's Pascal's turn again. Pascal tanks and opens him up for more damage. I think that's really it. Could go into... into cover. Free shot. I'll do it. Another free shot. Demands, I act. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. And another free shot. I'll do it. Free reload. Uh, let's stay in in our defensive zone. to here forces this guy to move in purpose guides so tribute kills this guy and can we heal I won't waste no. my time on that with one AP too little. I'm not accustomed to being around. Good little stare. That and if we're upgrading our damage, that's a lot of damage. Holy, just Isn't look at that 85. Okay, I should more often use press the advantage. Sargenta. 
Administration is a holy task. Request denied. Uh, Pascal could move up. One of them has a sniper. Not sure if we are strong enough to withstand that blow. Defense upgraded. Can't do much because we're just not seeing the enemy. Okay, you know what? Argenta moves to here. I'm just trying to be useful. Faith without deed is worthless. <laughs> Two very good hits. I'll do it. None. The Emperor's judgment. And thankfully, we just continue to mop the floor with them. Ouch. Hmm. I'm just reloading. Oh no. I don't like that mechanic where you're testing something out and then you're clicking on reload and it kind of automatically does that. But we still have an extra turn if we want to, so it's not the end. I thought I could use I run gun and actually idea. kill him. That was incorrect. Pascal heals himself. Can't strike him. But we can hit, and that's the important part. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Fantastic. One, two, increase our defense, and that's all we can do, really. for the week. Reach 
rejoice in battle. I refuse. That is too bad. Hit. Purpose guides me. It's like it's just getting him down. There is no mercy found in my heart. Step aside. Wow, what a big fight. What a big fight. But I think the advantage here was we had a huge positional advantage and once the buffs were stacking up, we were doing very, very well for ourselves. Okay, the Rebel Sniper Rifle is better than anything that we have gotten so far. Hmm, then we have medium armor and a normal plasma pi I think the plasma pistol is just as good as the one that we do have. Embrace true power. That was a nasty fight with uh, three guys with uh, sniper rifles. I think our sniper rifle is actually okay. The ammunition piece with the uh, rebel sniper rifle here, one of the biggest problems is reloading it. Uh, for here, the long last is about the same damage, but has dodge reduction and an additional hit a chance, so we're just going to keep that. Uh, what I really like is the one uh, warden's portent. This is great, but we don't have an option to use it, unfortunately. Okay, well, I stand corrected. They had just equally good sniper rifles. But that was already enough in order to make our life absolute miserable. If you think about it. Oh, and there are more enemies. The enemy is not done yet. We're going to do that the next time though, guys. Uh, I feel like this is a very, very good spot to call it. Because there is still a lot more fighting, apparently, that needs to be done. We're not even close to the actual main corridor. Okay, wow. The Space Hulk is intense. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I know it was a longer episode. I wish you all the best. And if you like fighting against the tech priests, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.